Hey, what's up? It's Rob Balasabas, and in this module, I'm going to show you how to add overlays, captions, and overall branding to your live stream. So let's get started. All right, welcome back to my Restream Live Studio. This is my broadcast studio inside of Restream. If you're not familiar with how to get here, let me show you how to do that really quickly, and then we'll get back into the tutorial. So if you remember, when you log into Restream.io into your account, this is where you end up. You end up in the destination dashboard. To get into your live studio, just click on the orange button on the top right that says enter live studio. Now, because I am sharing my screen, you're going to get this endless loop here. So I'm going to turn off the camera and also the microphone. All right, so let me show you around and how to add some branding to your live stream so that you can have a really professional looking, very slick looking live stream show. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is this black rectangle right here. This is what the audience will see. This is what will show up on the screen when you go live. This is basically the preview it actually says right here, this is a preview of what your broadcast will look like. So anything that goes on the screen will go live to the audience. The next thing is if we look at the top right of your screen, you'll see some different options. You'll see chat, you'll see captions, you'll also see graphics, and then setup. So for this tutorial, let's start with the graphics tab, okay? So in the graphics tab, you will see logos. So logos are really cool. Logos show up on the top right of the preview right here. All right, so for example, I've uploaded the TubeBuddy logo right here, so you can see that. If I click on that, you'll see that the TubeBuddy logo shows up on the top right of the screen. There's also a Restream logo that I've uploaded. So if I click on the Restream logo, you'll see that the Restream logo shows up on the top right of the screen. If you wanna add other logos, it's really, really easy. Just click on the plus button here and then it says upload. Click on that, that opens up your file manager. And for this example, let me choose this logo right here, which is a crocodile, which actually my son Isaiah, he uses for his YouTube channel. There it is. So now it's here as an option. So let's click on that. Now you can see that the crocodile logo appears on the top right of the preview as well. So that's how logos work. The next section below logos is overlays. All right. So you'll see overlays right there. Overlays are really cool. Overlays will show up on top of everything that is on the preview. So if you look at the preview and you look at different elements of the preview that shows up in the screen, there's logos, there's videos, there's backgrounds, all those things. Overlay will always be at the very top layer and will always show up. So there's a couple overlays here that we've already put up. So there's this, which is a standard overlay that comes directly when you log in and create your account directly from Restream. There's another overlay that I've created right here for my live streams uh, where Restream and TubeBuddy have both sponsored my live stream. So I've created this overlay, which is really cool. And just like logos, you can upload overlays as well. Now, as a quick mention, one of the next questions you'll probably have is, Rob, that's really cool, but where can I get overlays? Where can I design overlays? There's a couple places that you can do this. Easel is an awesome tool that I use. It's an online graphic design tool. There's a lot of templates that are pre-designed for you that you can start using right away. There's a free version and a, and a paid version. Honestly, the free version is really, really value packed. So it's an awesome some tool you can use that to start designing your overlays all right back to restream now the next section under graphics right here is video videos are really cool so restream actually has some videos that are already done here for you there's a lot of different uses for videos one of the most common uses is a countdown timer so if i click on this check this out So that's really cool. What it does is when you play a video, it plays and takes over the entire screen. It also mutes you and any guests that you have. So again, very common use for this is introduction and countdown timers. Also outros, a very common use for videos inside of Restream Live Studio. And just like logos and overlays, you can also upload 
more videos like this one right here by clicking the plus button that is to upload more videos now the only limitation to videos being uploaded directly to restream is that they need to be under 150 megabytes and they need to be mp4 files mp4 files all right all right so right below videos a really cool feature here is backgrounds you'll see backgrounds here and there's a ton of backgrounds that Restream is already sharing with you right inside of the live studio. So unlike the overlay, the background is exactly what it is. It's the background. So it stays in the very, very, very back of the preview screen. So it's always in the back. It will never take over the entire screen or go over your video or your logos or your overlays. It's always the very bottom layer of your preview. So this is what I mean. If I click on this blue background right here, there it is. You'll see that it shows up. On top of that, you can also put an overlay. You'll see there. And then also you can have a logo. So there it is. So that's a very basic setup. You have a background with an overlay and then a logo. And then basically that's your canvas. Now, once you have this, you can then put up your video. And then also you can have your video, which is on the left hand side, and then also your screen on the right hand side, which is a very common setup that I always use when I'm going live because I have me in the camera on one side and then my screen so I can share my screen when I'm talking about different software or YouTube or analytics or something on the other side of the window. All right, so our layout is looking really nice. It's starting to come together. We've got our background, we've got our overlay and also our logo. The next thing below the background section is participant's name. So as you can see here, I've got Rob Balasabas, comma, TubeBuddy in both screens because those are both my screens. If I toggle this off in participant's name, those names will go away. All right, so it's a matter of preference. If you want the names there, awesome. If you don't, that's totally fine as well, and that's how you turn it off. This will also apply to any guests that you have. Their names will also show up. All right, and at the very bottom of the graphics tab, there's the primary color. So right now it's set to red, but let's just change that. To change that, all you need to do is click that red box right there and then pick another color. So let's say we're gonna go with maybe, let's go with green, okay? There you go, it's kind of an, probably not the best color because your font is white, uh, but that, that is how you change it. It's really, really straightforward. All right, so that is the graphics tab. Let's now check out the captions tab right to the left of it. All right, so this is the captions tab and I'm just gonna move myself up here to the top right of the screen so that you can see where the captions show up. So let's put this caption right here. Ask your questions in the chat, use hashtag questions and you'll see where the captions show up. There it is. So it shows up on the bottom left of your screen, and this is really, really helpful to keep your audience engaged. And also just remember that most people that are gonna be tuning in and finding and stumbling across your live streams may have your live stream on mute. So having some captions, some text there to tell them what you're talking about will really, really help and grab their attention and hopefully stop them from scrolling and click into watching your live stream. I am always trying to use captions and rotating through different captions. Sometimes I'll set up captions for questions for the audience to get them engaged. For example, I have a caption here that says, hey, what's your channel and content about? Let us know in the chat. I have this one that you can see on the screen here. Ask your questions in the chat. Use hashtag questions. If I have a guest, I'll have their names and maybe even their YouTube channel or social handles or Instagram handles ready and queued up. And so if you wanna set up captions, it's really easy. You just scroll down to the very bottom of the right-hand side under the captions tab, and there's two places to put text. There's a field for primary text, and then there's another field for secondary text. All right, so it's really easy. All you need to do is type in your primary text first. There we go. And now let's click on add caption and you'll see that that's now at the bottom of the screen. So if I click on that, that'll show up on the screen now and it's that easy. All right, now if you find yourself having too many captions or maybe you've already finished an interview and you wanna delete some of the captions, it's really easy. All you need to do is hover over the caption on the top right, you'll see a little X button right there to remove and that's all you have to do and that allows you to make some room for more captions for more interviews and more live streams and there you have it that is how you set up captions branding graphics overlays inside of restream live studios so now i'll see you in the next lesson